Welcome back. Day 15, 21 days of prayer and fasting. I hope that you are continuing to seek God, that you're spending time in prayer. I hope that you've made a prayer list where you're praying for people, that you're, you're praying things over yourself, that you know that God has for you, and that you're studying scripture. I hope you're reading along in the McShane Bible reading plan. In fact, if you are, today is uh, day 15, and it's Genesis chapter 16, which is interesting to me because in chapter 15, God had reaffirmed his promise that he was going to give Abraham a son. But in chapter 16, we see Sarah, Abraham's wife, is really, um, actually, she's really insecure and thinking like, wow, I've not been able to have a kid. Maybe I'm the problem. So she tells her husband, uh, Abraham, look, you know, I have this servant, Hagar. Why don't you go ahead and sleep with her and you can have a kid that way. And Abraham complies. He's like, yeah, sure. No problem. Had he forgotten her? Was he deceived? I don't know. But as soon as Hagar became pregnant, uh, she got a little catty and Sarah began to really just abuse her, um, just verbally and just mistreat her so much so that Hagar ran away. And as she's running away, she sits down, she's just despondent and despaired. She's sitting in the, in the middle of nowhere in the wilderness and an angel of the Lord sh uh, shows up and, and tells her, prophesies over the unborn son that she's going to have named Ishmael. And at the end of that, that really spiritual encounter, she says that the, it's the Lord who sees her. In fact, she says this. She says, you are the God who sees me. She'd been oppressed. Uh, she'd been mistreated. And yet she said, God, you see me. The question is, is never, does God see the oppressed? Does God see the, the brokenhearted, the downtrodden? He always does. The question is, do I? And so why don't we ask this? God, to give us eyes to see those who are broken so that we can bring hope so that they can know through us that God sees them. So, Father, help us to see others as you see them. Lord, help us to see the brokenness and speak your words of life and hope and truth so that they can say, Ah, I see you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Take care. Stay strong. See you soon. God bless. Bye.